Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So here I have another 10 pens currently inked up. So I think let's just go through these briefly. We'll go through them in a little bit more detail and then we'll do a writing sample. So from left to right we have the Visconti Homo Sapiens and this is the Chiantishir. We have the Visconti Homo Sapiens Jade. We have the Visconti Homo Sapiens Caput Mundi. We have a Visconti Homo Sapiens Florentine Hills. We have a Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Age. A Visconti Homo Sapiens Dark Age. A Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Age Marzi. A Visconti Opera Master Corvina. A Visconti Opera Master Stardust. And a Visconti Divina Metropolitan. So let's just go through these pens in more detail here so this is the lovely Visconti Homo Sapiens Chiantashire and when it's become available and it still is available uh, if you search hard enough you can find these uh, it's a really lovely red demonstrator with the ribbon swirl going on here uh, I do like this a lot I, I really love this this sort of ribbon effect but with the gold effect going in there with the sort of pattern uh, in the body so this really to me is a beautiful pen uh, this is a pen with a 23 cap palladium nib uh, and it's a medium nib and it is just a beautiful beautiful pen so this is a pen that I do like a lot and then the next pen is the Visconti Homo Sapiens Jade. And uh, this has the Visconti My Pen system on, although this you cannot p uh, pull off this version. It comes with the pen, but it's uh, a lovely uh, jade colour effect. Uh, I wasn't enamoured with the green jade colour to start with, but it's grown on me ever since, and I do like this a lot. Uh, it is a uh, lovely size pen, as it, as with all the Homo sapiens, with a hook safe lock mechanism, a 23 cap palladium nib. The only issue is that sometimes you get ink swirling around the inside of the section here, which does sometimes not look that great. You can unscrew these nibs if you want to, and I will probably clean that back out again. But you can see here, uh, very quick locking mechanism there, putting the cap on, uh, and it holds a very large amount of ink there, about two and a half millilitres of ink. And then we have the Visconti Homo Sapiens Caput Mundi, which is actually getting quite low on ink again, because I've been writing with it a lot. Uh, again, it's a Homo Sapiens with a 23 cap palladium medium nib, holding 2.5 millilitres of ink, and it's just the right size of pen. You can sort of post these caps if you want to. I don't, and to be honest, I don't like posting caps that don't have a cap band here on the end. I'm always worried that they may crack, uh, but I'm not a person that normally posts a lot of caps on pens in my collection. And then we have another Visconti Homo Sapiens, and, and this is one that I've not written with for a while, and I thought I would take back out again. It's uh, another ribbon pen, and it's a ribbon demonstrator. It's the Florentine Hills, and this really is a stunning material here, uh, but unfortunately it gets a little bit muted once you have ink in the barrel, so it doesn't look quite as nice. Uh, but this really is a, a lovely pen. On some of the Viscontis, the enamel you do start finding that will flake off eventually. Uh, to be honest, on all of the Viscontis I have, this is, and I think I I did have 65, and I think I'm down to uh, 57 maybe. And out of the bridge clip ones with enamel, I think it's probably about 35, 40 maybe that I have. This is the only one that's flaked off. Uh, so for me it's not a major issue and it actually shows that the pen's being used more but I know that sometimes that can be a cause for concern for some people again it has a 23 cap palladium medium nib and it just feels right in the hand these are all power vacs the, the Visconti Homo Sapiens with a double reservoir as well but these just write exquisitely well so I do like those those 23 cap palladium nibs a lot 
And then we have the Bronze Age. This is a Visconti Homo sapiens. Uh, this isn't a double reservoir, so it really is a single reservoir. So, whereas these will hold around two and a half milliliters of ink, this one will hold around a milliliter of ink. Well, maybe a milliliter and a half, pushing it maybe. Uh, it's a Paravac filler, but it's made of basaltic lava. And I have a 23 cap palladium fine nib on this one. And this was, I bought this earlier on in my collecting. Uh, and I I just decided I would try and go for another fine nib. I got a fine nib on my London Fog and I kind of liked it. So I decided I would go for another fine nib on this one. And I'm glad that I did. And then a little bit after that, maybe a couple months later, I decided to get a Visconti Homo Sapiens Dark Age. Uh, with the black ruthenium trim, and I do like this a lot. Uh, it's more of a stealthed out black pen, and I don't normally go for black pens, but I decided that I would go for this, and it comes with a lovely ruthenium coloured nib there. And uh, I got this with a, a medium, and again, I like it. Holds around a milliliter, maybe pushing to a milliliter and a half of ink. It's a Paravac filler. You can post these caps if you want. These basaltic lava pens are actually quite quite durable. Uh, you have the Visconti My Pen system there on the cap finial. Hook safe lock here. Just a quarter of a turn and it caps and uncaps. And to me, I do like that hook safe lock mechanism. Uh, it really does work well for me. And then one pen that I wanted to get for a long time, and it took me a while, it was trying to get it at the right price, and most of the prices, most of the sellers were selling at were too high. And then I found this one, and I got this from Regina Martini in uh, Martini Auctions in Germany. And this is a beautiful, stunning pen. So this, again, is a Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Age. So the same as this one here but this one has a mural on it so this is an airbrushed painting of Mount Etna which is where the basaltic lava that makes these pens come from so these are basaltic lava mixed with resin uh, so Claudio Marzi painted this with an airbrush gun and I love this pen it's a beautiful pen now this does come with a 1.3 millimeter stub nib Again, it holds around about a milliliter of ink, maybe 1.2 to 1.5 milliliters if you really try and push it as much as possible. But it's a pen that I, again, I, I love the look of. And I do like Homo sapiens, and having this mural painted on it of Mount Etna erupting is quite stunning. And then we have a couple of Visconti Opera Masters, and this is the Visconti Opera Master Corvina, and again, stunning pen with this like popcorn effect going on. Uh, it came with a bottle of uh, Visconti Bordeaux ink, uh, it comes with a 1.3mm stub nib there, but again, this is a really nice slightly weighty pen because there's a lot of uh, metal on it but it's it's a really really nice size so uh, I do like that pen a lot and I do like writing with it and it's a 1.3 millimeter stub nib and so is this one this is the Visconti Opera Master and this is the Stardust so the Corvina and the Stardust both come from Truffet and uh, this was a Truffet exclusive from Visconti uh, so this was a really really nice pen it's a limited edition of 28 there that you might be able to see uh, so it was a very limited edition one but I love this material it really is good and again we have a 23 cap palladium stub nib there but it's a um, ruthenium black colored trim all around including the nib but again, that is just really, really nice. So, uh, again, I do like writing with stub nibs. And then last but not least, we have the really stunning Visconti Divina Metropolitan. And uh, this is a stunning stack celluloid. It's a celluloid that I really do love a lot. 
and I'm glad that I was able to to uh, get this pen because it really is a beautiful pen. It has silver rods going through that twist round the pen. It's a captive converter or captured converter. Uh, it has a hook safe lock on it. It has a 23 cap palladium broad nib, but it's a number five size nib, not a number six size nib. So it's a smaller nib with a smaller section, but I love how this pen writes. It's a broad nib, it writes very wet, very smooth, and just how I like my nibs to write. So I think with that, let's go and do a writing sample. So, the first pen is the beautiful Visconti Homo Sapiens Chiantashire. So we'll do an ink swatch here. Now, this is a medium nib. It's it is a wet nib, but it's not an absolute gusher, I would say. So this is a Visconti Homo Sapiens. And it is the Chiantashire. And it is a medium 23 cat palladium nib zoom in a little bit more so you can see that and then the ink in here is Lamy red but again that is an ink that I do like quite a lot in this pen and the next pen is the Visconti Homo Sapiens Jade so we'll do another ink swatch here and again, this is another medium nib. So it's the Visconti Homo Sapiens Jade, and it's a medium 23 cat palladium nib. And then the ink in here is Visconti green and that was actually the ink that came with that pen and then we have the Visconti Homo Sapiens Caput Mundi so we'll do an ink swatch here now this is a medium nib but it writes a lot wetter and more I'd say like a western board so it's the Visconti Homo Sapiens Kappa Mundi and it's a medium 23 cat palladium nib and then the ink in here is Pelican Edelstein Garnet which is actually a very nice red ink. And then we have this one, it's the Visconti Homo Sapiens Florentine Hills. So we'll do an ink swatch. And again, this is another one that is very wet. It's a bouncy 23 cap palladium nib, and it's how I love these nibs to write. So this is a Visconti Homo Sapiens Florentine Hills and it's a medium 23 cat palladium nib and this is inked up again with Visconti Green but it's a Again, it's a green that I like quite a bit, actually. And then we have the Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Age. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now, this is a fine nib. So although it's quite a wet nib, it still puts down a much narrower line than the others. 
So this is the Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Age. And it's a fine 23 cat palladium nib. And the ink in here is Waterman. And this is Absolute Brown. Or the older versions of it used to be called Havana Brown. And then we have the Visconti Homo Sapiens Dark Age. So we'll do an ink swatch here. Now, this is a medium nib, but it doesn't, to me, write that wet. And I think it might be because of the black coating, ruthenium trim, on the pen. But this is a Visconti Homo Sapiens Dark Age. And it's a medium, again, 23 carat palladium nib and then the ink in here is Pilot Oroshizuku and it's Kiri Sami but that's actually quite a nice grey ink and then the next pen we have is the Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Age Marzi so we'll do an ink swatch now this is a wider nib, but it's actually quite a um, rigid uh, Dream Touch Palladium nib. So it's the Visconti. I'm going to abbreviate this because I've got a little bit more to put in here. So it's a Homo Sapiens Bronze Age Marzi, and it's a stub 23 cap Palladium nib. And then the ink in here is Diamine Bilberry, which is actually a lovely uh, sort of purpley ink that I like a lot. The next pen is a Visconti Opera Master. So we'll do an ink swatch. see here this is a stub nib so it's a Visconti Opera Master and it's the Corvina and it's got a stub 23 cat palladium nib and I've got some hand oil on the page here. The ink in here is Visconti Bordeaux. I'm also actually getting very, very low on this pad. And then we have the, again, another Visconti Opera Master. We'll do an ink swatch. And again, this is another stub nib so this is the Visconti and it's the Opera Master and it's the Stardust and it's a stub nib and it's a 23 cat palladium nib and again the ink in here is Visconti Bordeaux so we'll just Right, that again. And then we have, last but not least, this stunning Visconti stack celluloid. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And this really is a, a lovely wet writing nib. It's the Visconti. And this is the Davina. Metropolitan and it's a broad 23 cat 
Palladium nib and it's inked up with Diamine Amaranth or Amaranth. I never quite know how to pronounce that. I think it's Amaranth, but that again is a lovely pink ink. So let's go through these inks and um, inked up in the pens one more time. We have a Visconti Homo sapiens Chiantashire with a medium 23 cap palladium nib inked up with Lamy Red. We have a Visconti Homo sapiens Jade in a medium 23 cap palladium nib inked up with Visconti Green. We have a Visconti Homo sapiens Caput Mundi in a medium 23 cap palladium nib inked up with Pelican Edelstein Garnet. We have a Visconti Homo sapiens Florentine Hills in a medium 23 cap palladium nib inked up with Visconti Green. We have a Visconti Homo sapiens Bronze Age in a fine 23 cap palladium nib inked up with water in absolute brown. We have a Visconti Homo sapiens Dark Age in a medium 23 cap palladium nib inked up with Pilot Roshizuku Kirisami. We have a Visconti Homo sapiens Bronze Age Marzi in a 1.3mm stub nib with a 23 cap palladium nib inked up with Diamine Bilberry. We have a Visconti Opera Master Corvina in a 1.3mm stub 23 cap palladium nib inked up with Visconti Bordeaux. We have a Visconti Opera Master Stardust with a 1.3mm stub nib inked up with Visconti Bordeaux. And then we have a Visconti Divina Metropolitan in a broad 23 cap palladium nib inked up with Diamine Amaranth or Amaranth. So that is my currently inked for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.